joined the band in 2022, loads of people in it, just a like group of people, obviously, and um, this man then um, started snoop, snooping through my Facebook and started messaging me on Facebook, able to tell me different bits and pieces about my own personal life that, like, maybe going back years. So he had went right through the very, very start of it, so I blocked him on that and started texting me on WhatsApp he got my number through the band and started contacting me on that. Whenever I told, like, I was like, stop talking to me, like, I don't want anything to do with you. No, that's okay, I don't want anything from you. And then would go quiet for a while and then next thing, another message would come through. So this went on for months and got to the point he bought me a gift after contacting my family, contacting me, like, oh, I'm so sorry for annoying you and all this here. So bought me a gift, handed me the gift in person in front of other people and then just as soon as I like took it in my hands and went to turn around to would be like, here, what are you doing with us here? Like, away, in behind the curtain. So, opened it and it's a mug with me on it. So, have snooped through my family's pages to get photographs of me to put on this mug and there was no other mugs for anybody else so it was just for me and Whenever I, it was going on for about six months before I reported it to the police and I felt really nervous to report it because I was like, these people are going to think I'm not wise. Like, he's texting me, texting my family. Like, you just block him and move on. But whenever you block him, you can't move on because he's finding more ways to contact you. So I first reported it to the police and they straight away came out and um, they, were, they took everything so seriously. They were like, you know, this is not on. You've told him multiple times like, do not contact me, I don't want you in my life, he's not taking no for an answer, and, like, this man's twice my age, so it's quite hard to, like, just say, stop talking to me, basically, so, um, the police were great, they were out all the time, like, keeping me updated on anything they were finding, so he then started coming into my place of work, because he lives quite close to where I live, so he actually lives a few doors up from my home, so he started coming to my place of work, loitering about for maybe the guts of an hour in a corner shop where you might spend five minutes because there might only be bread on the shelf. Like So he was loitering about in there. He knew what I drove. He used to watch my car come to my mum's house, but then come outside and like maybe start playing his flute as if he was going to lure me up the park towards him. He'd, whenever he couldn't get my mobile number anymore, he started emailing me. So he was emailing me that he was going to kill himself and he needed me to talk to him, wanted me to come to his house because he had more gifts for me as an apology. So, reported this all onto the police, and then it was, no, this is ridiculous, he needs charged for this, like, so, then it became getting evidence, so, CCTV, statements from me, other witnesses that he had been contacting, so, then he was eventually arrested, and had been released on bail, so, within maybe hours of being re-released from bail, I think it was actually seven hours later, he broke his bail by getting drunk, coming into the area where he wasn't allowed to go, smashed bottles, shouting that he loved me and was going to kill me and my family for taking him to court. So then straight away my mum phoned the police and that was him lifted in a way. So he was then in jail for, I think it was from January right through to he was released there in September. So he was in the most part of about nine months. So now there's the stock and prevention order in place. Whenever he was gone, it was great. It was like, I can breathe now. And I always panicked, like, whenever he's out, he's going to go straight back to this. So I told the police I had concerns about that. And they were like, no, this new legislation, he can't as much as look at you. Or he's in jail for five years. Like, you are safe. They were like, you have no need to hide away anymore. Like... I stopped walking my dog myself, I stopped meeting friends in public, I stopped like going to my own mother's house. My own sister has special needs and she couldn't go to my mum's house because it was deemed too dangerous for her to go down the road to her own mum's house. So now with this legislation in place, I have my life back.